Within the Higher Computing Science Software Design and Development Unit, you need to be able to define a record data structure and use this in the solution to a problem. You also need to be able to write code that makes use of a linear search algorithm to solve a problem. In this video, we're going to have a look at an exam style question that covers those two points. Here is our exam style question. Gary is a teacher who trains the school snowboard team. Gary uses a program to record and monitor the performance of team members. Some sample data held by Gary is shown below. There are three parts to this question. Firstly, using a programming language of your choice, define a suitable record data structure for the above data. Secondly, using a programming language of your choice, define the variable which can store the details of all 30 team members. Your answer should use the record structure created in part B. And finally, part C, using a recognised design technique, design an algorithm to display the full name of all team members in the senior team. If you want, pause the video now and have a go at working through all three parts of this question, or I will shortly show you how I will go about answering this question. Looking at part A, we need to define a suitable record structure. So in a record structure, I'm looking for three main things. I'm looking for the name of the record structure, I'm looking for the list of the values that are going to be held in the record structure, and then the data type for those values. So I'm going to call this record skier, because all the information is about a specific skier, and it is a record. Now the information that we hold on each skier is their first name, surname, race number, downhill time, and senior team. For each value, I need to specify the data type of that value. So first name is going to be a string, surname is also going to be a string, race number is going to be an integer, downhill time is going to be a real, and the senior time is going to be a boolean. Now the method that you use to implement a record structure will vary depending on the programming language that you know. From the point of view of the SQA, we're looking for the three things I specified at the start. We're looking for the name of the record. We're looking for the list of all the values that are going to be held in the record. And then the data type for each of those records. Turning attention now to part B. We now need to define a variable which can store the details of all 30 members. So, Although the term variable is used, because we're storing 30 values, we know that a variable can only hold one single value. We're actually creating an array that's going to store the details of 30 team members. So I'm going to call my array ski team, and there is going to be 30 values within my array. And then within the array, each value is going to be a skier and if I can draw curly brackets I will. So again the way that you show this will vary depending on your programming language but we're looking for three key things here again. We're looking for the fact that you're indicating somehow that we have got an array. We're looking that you're indicating that the size of this array is the size specified in the question and we're looking at the contents of the array is going to be that record structure that we defined in part A. Let's now move on to part C. And in part C, we have to use a recognised design technique, probably pseudocode, to design an algorithm to display the full name of all team members in the senior team. So this is a linear search where we're looking for all the players that are in the senior team. Because we don't know the number of players in the senior team, this is going to have to be a linear search that uses a fixed loop. So we are going to loop with counter from 0 to 29 because that will give us 30 values. We're then going to look for our if something is equal to true. The value that we want to be true is that senior team value. And that senior team value, that senior team value is within our skier record, 
which is within our ski team array. So we're specifying that we're going to the ski team array. We're going to the one with the counter. And it's the ski team that we want to be true. When senior team is true, we want to display the first name and the surname. And these are located within the ski team array. And again, it's the one at the position of counter. I've just got a wee shortage of space and I'm shorting it to C instead of counter. We'd then end our if and then we'd end our loop. And that's how we'd answer a question that asks us to define a record structure and then use it to solve a problem. And in this case, the problem utilises a linear search algorithm. Let's have a look at another question that requires you to define a record data structure and use this in the solution. Miss Janeway is a primary school teacher who creates a programme to report on the progress of her pupils. Her pupils are tested in three areas and their marks are recorded as a percentage. And we've got a sample of the data on screen. There are four parts to this question. Part A requires you to define a suitable record data structure to store all of the required data. Part B requires you to define a variable which will store the details of all students in Miss Janeway's class. And part C and part D require you to use the variable that you define in part B to solve a problem.